Welcome to this week's WFN Focus Match Review for the Atlanta District Amateur Soccer League. This match is between Melchester Wings and Majestic at Pope High School in Marietta, Georgia. We're in Marietta because the original scheduled focus match between Inkhead.com and Georgia Tech FC had to be postponed due to the strict field condition restrictions imposed on the ADSL by Southern Poly State University. Coming into this match, Melchester were firmly placed in third place ahead of fourth place Majestic, who were struggling to move up the league table. Points on offer from this game would be valuable for both teams as they search to challenge for the league title. There's also a fight brewing at the bottom of the table as teams are working hard to position themselves out of the relegation zone before it's too late. From top to bottom, this is a well-run league which is reaching a critical part of the season. Any who love football will find the ADSL a good entertainment value for the family. As the match started, it was evident the artificial gridiron mark surface would be a problem for both teams. The fast and bouncy conditions would threaten the game as a spectacle. But Majestic would be the first with a breakthrough early, a good through ball releasing Nao Masuda, whose initial shot was blocked, but a follow-up by Nate Rollins saw the rebound converted for the early Majestic lead. Shortly following the Majestic goal, Melchester themselves almost had an equalizer from a corner, but just missed wide. Next with the chance from a set piece was Majestic. Here the long-range effort pushed onto the crossbar by the Melchester keeper. But Melchester would get level. After a good run up the right wing, a deflected cross made its way over to the head of former Atlanta Silverbacks Tony McManus, and he dispatched to bring the game level at one apiece. Right before the half, Wings had a good shout for a penalty call when their attacker was brought down in the box. However, it was deemed a fair challenge, and the play continued to the dismay of the Wings players. A replay shows just how close the call it was. In the second half, Majestic continued to pressure to get back on top, here with a shot on goal but handled by the wings keeper. The long clearance after the shot was quickly taken up field, and Eddie Romero deflected the shot off two Majestic players as it looped into the back of the net for a 2-1 lead for wings. A devastating blow, but the misery was not over for Majestic yet. Despite the pressure of Majestic, it was Wings who would profit again through solid play. The style of play dictated that the ball would be bouncing quite a bit on the firm surface, but Wings used it to massive effect as they settled the ball for a final cross, which was tapped in at the near post by Brad Cobbs for a 3-1 lead. As play neared the final whistle, Majestic could not further unlock the defense of the champions. The game would end with a significant impact on the league table, with a makeup pairing cup weekend upcoming to give the league program a break. The final score, Melchester 3, Majestic 1. Wings came from behind after an early Majestic goal to kill off the match. The result proved significant for both clubs. From Melchester, they go top of Division 1, taking advantage of the postponed match between Georgia Tech FC and Inkhead.com, which will be made up at a later date. The defending champions looking to repeat are now firmly embroiled in a three-horse race at the top of the D1 table. Majestic, however, are going in the wrong direction. With the loss, they now fall to sixth and into the lower half of the D1 table. Though obviously safe from any relegation concerns, this league champion of two years ago will think that their current position is unacceptable and will have to make up ground as soon as possible. WFN will be following the race for the league title as well as the fight against relegation as the season progresses. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next week. Now enjoy some match photography courtesy of Images Frozen in Time Photography.